Hello and welcome back to my channel You beautiful people of YouTube Today is the episode 2 of the audio philosophy thing Season 1 episode 2 And the title of this video is Who deserves the term audiophile? because the general conception i haven't even looked up the di dictionary definition of uh, audiophile what does it mean but the general conception in the audiophile community is that you have to have lots of expensive gear and music collection well that's a little bit different but the general idea is that you have to have a lot of expensive gear to be called a true audiophile you need Kimber cables and all that stuff expensive cable everything should be expensive for you to be called a true audiophile and I disagree the reason I disagree is this because I have met a lot of people that have lots of expensive gear and they usually you, when you look at their playlist and their collection it's always something missing or it's always weird stuff in there and to me that's not what being an audiophile really is and here's another trend in the community a lot of uh, this is like half of the community right now and they say that because the term audiophile is so loaded we should not use it at all and we should just totally discard the term because there is no upper ceiling to owning more and more gear you know you could own like millions and millions and millions of gear worth you know and I define audiophile differently. What I do is that um, okay, so owning gear definitely does not make you an audiophile. Owning playback gear does not definitely make you an audiophile because here's the thing. What about recording gear? Is that better than the playback gear? Or is that different than the playback gear? A lot of things are involved in there. In my opinion, the a true audiophile is a guy who has experience and not a lot of experience in gear necessarily although the experience in gear is pretty valuable thing to have uh, what I mean by experience is this take the term audio and then take the term file to me it just means that you should have listened to a lot of lot of different kinds of audio not just music cinematic everything else ambient all of the things so you should have trained ears that is what I mean when I want to define the term audiophile with my own definition you could have a $15 KSC 75 and uh, I mean sorry uh, 39, $35 cost both of both of pros and that is all you need and you could have listened to a bunch of tons and tons and tons of music on that headphone alone and I would consider you an audiophile so to me you should have experience in listening you know you should I don't get care I don't care what kind of setup you have at home I don't care how many dollars you spent I don't care how many shows you went to just have one decent piece of gear at the bare minimum and just listen to everything 
when I started this journey. At first, I very early as we shared, uh, we were a group, of, we were a group of couple friends from college who put money together to buy an HD 600 back when HD 600 was pretty costly, and we shared that HD 600. And then I had a Cosport Pro 2, and but the really the headphone that I used to get experience is uh, Audio Technica M40X that is the first review on my channel we we used HD 600 a lot and we were amazed by it too but HD 600 required a very expensive amp at the time for it to truly shine M40X did not have that requirement and that is the headphone that I gained my experience on and I would spend five, six hours daily listening and just getting my experience, you know. So that is the thing. You have to have experience to be earning that title. If you don't have any experience, then does not matter how much how many dollars you spend on your gear although I should mention that I'm not against spending dollars spend dollars I, I don't care in this hobby usually the top end stuff is the best it has not happened that the lower end stuff has beaten the top end stuff however there is snake oil in the top end stuff that is I'm against that is what I'm against but other than that, the top end stuff is top end for a reason. So that is my thought on the term audiophile. And I'm not afraid to use it. I'm just saying let's define a, let's define a term and uh, let's define the term. And I'm not against people using their own version either. That is my version. Who deserves that is my philosophy on it. Who deserves the term? What is the meaning of the term? And I'm not setting up a number of songs or albums too. I don't care what you listen to. Just have some variety. Don't listen to the same stuff over and over and over again. Although if you don't do want to do that, I'm not against that. But get as much experience as you can. And then use the term audiophile for yourself. I don't care. So that is the thing. Is there a replacement term for it? I don't think so. I think it, it's just perfect. Whatever replacement there is, audio enthusiast, whatever, it's just two words. That is one word term that uh, is really efficient. And I support using it, but we have got to, as a community, we have got to agree on a less ridiculous definition of it. So, this was the episode 2 of Audio Philosophy from Season 1. Season 1 is airing in 2019. <laughs> and shout out to the cyclist and the give up on life. I'm taking out my trash. I don't care, guy in the back. <laughs> And those were the guest appearances and the skinny dude riding the bike. That was kind of funny because he saw me sitting down and he was like, what, are, what the fuck are you doing on the trail? This is a biking trail. And then he smiled and then passed up <laughs> and probably will be, won't find himself in a video. <laughs> but hope, let's hope if he finds the video in comments, that'd be pretty awesome. And you guys have a good week. It's Monday morning, early. Not that early though. And love ya. <laughs> Bye.